Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about the Horns Flex basketball play. Now, out of the Horns offense, the Horns Flex is one of the more popular plays because it is very simple, but it does work against both man-to-man -man and zone defenses. So if you're running the Horns offense this year with your team, this is definitely the play that you're going to want to run. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check this out. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the play without any defense on the clipboard and then I'm going to show you what it looks like with defense, with with man-to-man -man defense as well as a 2-3 zone. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's see. So we're going to be first having player 1 passing over to player 5 and player 1 is going to be cutting towards the rim and then cutting out so that he can set a back screen or a screen on player 2. Player 2 is going to be using that screen and cutting towards the rim. Once he's cutting towards the rim, if he is open, we're going to be having player 5 pass to player 2 for that layup. Now, there's another option out of this as well. So, if the defense sags off of player 1 and plays help defense and player 2's man chases him, he can pop out for a 3-point shot as well. So, let me show you what this looks like with a man-to-man -man defense on there. Okay, so with a man-to-man -man defense, we're going to have player 1 pass to player 5, and then he's going to cut towards the rim, and player 1 is going to set a screen on player 2. However, player 2, with the ball getting to the high post, he may be closing out just a bit more on his man, so that's going to be really good for us to free up some space in the key. So he's going to be setting that back screen on player 2. Player 2 is going to be cutting towards the rim, and he may be open for that layup. Now, keeping in mind, if player 1 sags off to play help defense, if he is a really good defender, he would do that, and player 2 tries to fight through, player 1, if he takes 1-2 to two quick steps out, he is going to be absolutely wide open for that 3-point shot. So definitely something to teach your players. Now, if, for example, we had that back screen... We never had any help defense on this side coming out to kind of block off any passes, but we got the ball inside and player 3 dropped off. This is when player 2 can pass out to player 3 for the 3 point shot, and even better, if player 4 closes out and player 4 blue pops out, we can do the extra pass to player 4. So this is when I like to teach my players that always looking for that extra pass, always reading what the defense is giving you so that if there is a help defense mistake, then, or not even necessarily a mistake, but let's say player one never popped out, that would be a massive mistake, then, and there is a quick help defender, there is always that possibility for the extra pass and an easy, maybe open three-point shot. And as we all know, the NBA and every single high-level basketball coach is looking for really good three-point shooters. I was recently at the Toronto Raptors Coaches Open House, and they were stressing that coaches should have 90 to 95% of their practices focusing on shooting drills. So keep that in mind. If you've got some really good shooters on the floor, then this play is definitely going to be able to help you out a ton. Now, let's get over and run the same similar play, basically the same play, against a 2-3 zone defense. So against a 2-3 zone defense, if we don't already know, because I get comments like this on all of my videos that have plays against the 2-3 zone, that is the two top player zones, and in the middle of the zone is their double team location, so yes, there is supposed to be a double team up top. However, sometimes coaches will opt to have player 1 or 2 to only be single coverage up top and drop down to protect the high post so that player 5 can move over just a bit and to shadow player 4. Either way, this play is going to work no matter what though that defensive line does. Now, what we're going to be looking at doing here is having still player 1 passing to the post and then that's going to draw player 2 down. That's also going to be possibly drawing player 5 up. 
Now, if that's to happen, player four may have an open lane, and that's an easy layup. Again, reading the defense and seeing what the defense gives you. However, player one is going to be cutting through, and he's going to be setting that screen on player three. Player three is then going to be stuck on that screen, and we're hoping for player two to be open in that low post. Now, going from there, if player two was to get that ball, what we're looking to have happen is now the defense to collapse on him, and because obviously high to low passes are very dangerous against a zone defense, we're now going to be able to get player two to possibly pass the ball out to player three for that three-point shot. So this is a fantastic play to run. And really quickly, against a 3-2 zone, very similar. This is going to be bringing player 2 down and player 1 down. Player 5 is going to be then stretched just a bit out, maybe past the key because obviously he doesn't want to be having player 2 wide open. He wants to be in that passing lane. Player 1 is going to be setting that back screen on player 5. That's going to be then bringing the defense in just like so roughly. Player 2 is going to be cutting and that's going to be an open pass for the basket. Of course, if that brings player 4 in again, we will have player 3 open for a 3 point shot or player 3 could be cutting baseline for a nice, if you're older, open dunk or maybe a posterized dunk or maybe a floater or a mid-range shot. Now I hope that this play helps your team win more games. If it does, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.